Tonight only on Nine. He is one of the top DJs on the planet, and tonight he is going full blast on critics of electronic music festivals. Cascade says raves are being unfairly singled out by the media and its critics. K Cotine's Tom Waite spoke with, a, with Cascade in an interview that you won't see anywhere else. He has the ability to enrapture thousands with his music. Cascade is one of the hottest DJs on the planet. His genre is electronic dance music or EDM. When he's not performing for a massive crowd at a sold out club or festival somewhere around the globe, Cascade is here in Santa Monica at his recording studio. Cascade, whose real name is Ryan Radden, is not only passionate about his art, he's also a fierce defender of it. And right now, he feels like EDM is under attack. Summer of deaths? Come on, man. Cascade is referring to this headline from a story in the LA Times. The paper was reporting a popular Halloween rave would not be held this year at the LA County Fairgrounds after several deaths at a previous rave were linked to club drugs like ecstasy. Cascade says the headline and the story is just one in a series of unfair attacks on electronic dance music. Do we have it at these events? Yes, we have a problem. But Many other events do too, so don't single us out as the only person that's got a problem. Over the summer, three young people died after attending a rave in San Bernardino. Last summer, two deaths were linked to drug overdoses at a rave at the LA County Fairgrounds. Because of what happened, LA County supervisors voted in new strict booking rules into effect. Right now, county officials have no plans to allow any more raves at its fairgrounds or parks. Cascade says the deaths are tragic, but urges people to look at the big picture. Millions and millions and millions of people entertained. I don't know. It's a terrible stat and it's very sad, but when you compare it to something else like drunk driving, wow. Is it a public health issue? I think it is. John Silimparis is a family therapist and an addiction expert. He believes raves tend to attract a high concentration of designer drug users. I don't have children, but if I had a child and he was or she was a teenager and I had some control over his or her behavior, I would probably not let them go. Cascade himself is a father of three, married and sober. Certainly there are people at these events that are abusing substance. You know, I get that. I understand that. Um, that's why I'm trying to be a voice of reason and be out there and say, like, look, hey, I'm sober. I can attend these events and enjoy myself. Cascade says he hopes his voice leads to change. In Studio City, Tom Waite, KCAL 9 News.